So you have many different types of animals. In biodiversity within microfauna would be lots of different types of microscopic life forms. So you want a very diverse population, uh, lots of different kinds of microscopic animals uh, in your fish tank, not just a few different ones. You want a, an increase and you want to try to increase the biodiversity within your aquarium. Because these aquariums, they're not, they're really better if you look at your aquarium as a freshwater ecosystem. Um, it's more than just a fish in a box with some gravel and decorations and a filter. It's so much more than that. But if you set up your fish tank kind of like a natural, naturalistic style, and you mimic something that's going to be out in nature, that environment's going to be a little more favorable to grow a larger population of this microfauna. And if then if you introduce some diverse samples of microfauna into your aquarium and you've got a, you know, you have an environment that's going to help these creatures thrive, well, then you can really do your, you know, that will do your tank a favor and that will help it reach a balance. It will uh, help it become more stable. All those types of good things. Biodiversity within your microfauna, that's a good thing. And for so many, it's for some reason a scary thing. They're, they want to control it. They're afraid that that one bad thing is going to get in there and take over. Well, as a rule, if the bad guy or the bad thing in nature was stronger and always taking over, then it would all, you know, we'd all be dead by now. Like it would have all taken over and killed everything. But that's not how life really works. So uh, you got to quit looking at it like certain things are good, certain things are bad. Everything has its role, even the good, the bad, the ugly. I mean, it's some of these pest animals um, not only are not really a problem, uh, but they actually play a major role in the system, um, like uh, planaria and snails and hydra. These, these are like the three bad things that everyone's always afraid of. Probably le less afraid of snails, maybe. But there's all these horror stories of planaria and snails and hydra taking over a tank, killing all your shrimp babies, you know, eating all your, your fry, eating all your, you know, your your baby fish and you could look at that and go oh my gosh like I cannot have that in my tank I need to drop the planaria bomb in there and kill every kill all the planaria okay um there's so many things about that that you that that's just not great and you don't really understand the organisms you're wiping out when you drop uh, some kind of chemical in there that wipes out something. You're wiping out so much more than just the planaria. There are other organisms that you don't even know about in there that are also dying that are playing a very important role. Things like planaria and hydra and snails. If you watch these this population grow, you will see that it also plateaus and then declines because if it's feeding on a food source and that food source runs out and because of that food source it built this huge population that population only can do one thing if there's no food it dies out now they don't all die out of course so there'll be some left and then again if that then food population returns in huge number then the population is going to grow again but you'll notice it's actually finding a balance because every time eventually you'll notice that there might be a hydra here or there but they're not covering the glass anymore there's not that many of them there's certainly not a problem and you'll notice that your shrimp populations are still growing your fish populations are still growing if they're breeding in the tank if you have that situation going on you'll notice that the hydra did not come in take over wipe everything out it all really can get along. Uh, same thing with snails, same thing with planaria. Those are common uh, animals that live in these ecosystems that because of their role in what they do, they feel like they, they just shouldn't exist. They feel like, well, you should not be eating my baby shrimp. My baby shrimp are what I'm trying to grow for money or just enjoyment. 
you should not exist, you should not be eating them. Everyone will kind of grow together and you can manipulate a little bit, but the more you manipulate, the more you think you know what's going on in this microscopic world, the more it just is going to unravel or turn into something. It's just, there's always a crash. There's always a, there's always a, oh, I didn't think that was going to happen. And maybe you don't even understand it. And then you don't even equate it to your manipulation. But something happens when you try to play mother nature. It's already doing its thing. Just watch what it does. Try to give it good food and um, learn, learn what you can from this microscopic world. See the magic that it is. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up.